I'm gonna go back to my lab and lock the door. Nobody comes in. More hope ideas don't come out. After join, I'll have to jam it so Kylie can't let anybody inside. Right now, I just want to be alone. I don't want to hurt any more people. I just want to solve this case. What's that noise? Aren't you supposed to be with Faye? What are you doing? Walking? <laughs> Leave me alone before I end up getting you hurt as well. Silence. No more clinking your boots. So you must be smart enough not to follow me. Or she's flying. <laughs> she must know I'm not worth protecting. Or she's being clever and using her wings to keep up to keep her from making telltale sounds. Just because I can't hear you. <laughs> just because I can't hear you clicking doesn't mean I don't know you're still there. <laughs> I'm not following you. I'm just going in your general direction. I'm not that stupid. He must be. <laughs> they tell me not to do my job. Is stop. Well, you think telling me not to do my job is going to stop me from protecting you? <laughs> Everyone else needs, needs to protect you from me. You get confined. Soul doesn't. Okay, Soul doesn't see me as a friend anymore. They got hospitalized. The person who needs the most protection from you is yourself. I'm not going to sit idly by while you hurt yourself. It's not you, Nat. Nobody blames you. We're all just in the edge. Being a true warrior means being able to. I don't care. Is she gone? I told you that you one day run away screaming from that. <laughs> that is. <so> <laughs> well, he just comes out of nowhere and says that. <laughs> oh, that's, that's, that's too. That's too funny. It's like I told you that. See, it's like I told you one day you'd be running away from that. Uh, it's like I told you that you one. It's like I told you that you'd one day run away screaming from that lizard. What did I tell you? No, <laughs> nobody else is the soul. <laughs> oh shit! Because I'm always right. <laughs> this is the part where you laugh at me and say I only got to claim that once I beat you, Natalie. I want to say something. I want to apologize for forcing him to, su to the side. I want to admit that. That. What's that thing? Serious data pad? Looks like something you find on one of those ancient civilization shows. I told you to just use what, use the one from the storage. It's not the latest model, but at least it's. You find a copy of one of the pictures. I give it to Zuri to look at. Oh. Pay was poisoned by a Ralton poison. Those creatures are genetic weapons designed by the Empire. I think they are the ones who have been stealing evidence at the scene before we arrive. Oh? Huh? I've been failing at everything. We should have found them long before now. Have you been confident confiding in this in Zuri? She's the one who's been helping me. I wouldn't have even this little progress without her. Is that so? Who would have thought Lizard Brain would be beating us both in this game of mysteries? I need to confess something to you. I've been holding secrets from you as well. What? I've been trying to find evidence to pin this on Dr. Nelson. I was so sure that he was the one trying to thwart you. But it was Kiku who broke, the, broke into my lab. You know even that. She confessed it. The girl laughed at me and rubbed it in my face. <laughs> I really am worthless in this case to you. That's not true. Can't think that. It's true, Nat. Even you admitted that Lizard Brain is more helpful. <laughs> Stop saying that. Both of you are helping. Just be helping me keep order and peace to keep order and protect the others. Knowing you're there to keep home from protected is important to me. You're important to me. What about Zuri? Both of you are important to me. Well, I know you're very important to Zuri. Where is she, anyway? She told me the first thing she was going to do after getting her freedom was teaching you to her special moves. <laughs> I yelled at her and ran away. <laughs> like what like what I did to <laughs> well, like what I did to you. I cannot explain all the stress that is eating away at me. Every moment of my life is getting worse and worse. They got a picture of Zuri's family seems so far away. I see. I'm still your friend, right? Of course. Man, this just got man, this just got more drama than the Enterprise. Shit. <laughs> Fuck. Hey, but look on the bright side, at least we got less weapons though. <laughs> And you still value my help? Duh. Because I'm about to upset you. Then don't. Being the ship's executive officer has led me to believe that doing the right thing often means angering people. 
Stop worrying about what we think of you. Stop worrying about how this mission is going to turn out. And keep on helping those you care about. You care enough about me not to run off. Though I could see it in your eyes. You care enough to risk me going after your last lead. You care enough to try to improve my feelings. So I gotta care for serious feelings. She said important to solving this case to you. To learn your feelings and apologize should be a problem. When did you learn to care for other people? Blame the job. I'm tired of losing friends to this warrant and this elves. So, thanks. Let's just skip to the talking in our next time. Let's just skip to talking out next time. I should get back to the bridge. Alphonse has been covering for me. I should go find Zarin and apologize for yelling at her and running away. She wanted to be there for me. But I... I... I'm going back to my lab. I don't have the courage to admit I was an idiot and ask for forgiveness. How I managed it, how I managed it with souls and mystery. Serious, right? I'm the warrior. I'm not worthy of being an admiral. Of being an admiral someday. I'm starting to see why they stuck me on this backwater plan in the first place. But I want to change. I'm going to change. If I really believe in everything I've said, I have to be brave. After nearly an hour of searching, I find her standing in front of my lab. With a dejected look on her face. Zuri? Nat, where have you been? Been worried that your criminal tried to kill you? Been trying to find you. I want to say something. I'm a lizard brain who doesn't understand when enough is enough. I'm the lizard brain who needs to stop abusing your friends. I'm sorry. Apology not accepted. Wh what? Nope, I'm not letting you off the hook that easily. You can't crush my feelings and expect me to just forgive you. <laughs> but there's a way to make it up, make it up to me. If you agree to one thing, I'm going to just be willing to let everything slide. Participate in your daily workouts. That's an amazing guess. We have to practice a lot first. Shape you into a real warrior. If you just want to hang out, Zuri, just say so. I like being with you. I don't feel quite as cowardly. I see your strength of purpose and I know I have to be better. I could be proud of the dreamer you've become. That's sweet. I'm not nearly strong enough yet. But someday. You're stronger than you know. Even if you won't ever play me a song. Come on, Zary, play me a song. <laughs> like, What's what you with that damn flute? <laughs> I miss it. I miss playing those soft melodies and seeing everyone's mood lift after a tough day. But I don't get that luxury now. I have to be strong and be a protector. But I don't get that luxury anymore. Just like I don't get the luxury of questioning myself when I'm still got a job to do. The timer on the translator program still has, has almost a day on it. Why don't you show me a few moves? That's more like it. Let's go do it on the bridge and get everyone involved. <laughs> that sounds dangerous and stupid. <laughs> I'm guessing Rizzuto won't like it either. <laughs> Bleh. Natalie. Like Merle. <laughs> hey, Soul. Sarah's going to teach you some of her special fighting stances. Why don't you come with it? I don't think he has the footwork for to pull him off. <laughs> I can move around better than you and your massive wings, but we have a crisis to deal with first. There's always another crisis. You can find that missing ship. I'm past all this. Yeah. <laughs> it's like I'm a ghost. I'm past all this sprinting down the hall before any other words come out. I can still salvage this. I can still become an admiral. <laughs> Alright, people, talk to me. <laughs> Guess who found it? it certainly wasn't Miss Mystery. <laughs> Shut up. What did we find? I'm the one who found the wreckage, not we. <laughs> I'm sorry. I must have misheard you. I couldn't have sworn that you said wreckage. I know human hearing is poor, but I said it perfectly clear. Look. Ooh. <laughs> Damn, I'm taking a jab at each other. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Despite my willing for her words to be false, the drifting remains of the twisted metal and debris tell the truth of the situation. This cold, dead wreckage is nothing more than a floating junkyard. Our false silent. My brain unable to process the chaos in front of me. Only one word can piece the frozen synapses. Failure. I failed. I got here second. I should have no destruction of this shit would be the Empire's goal. I should have tried hard to find it before then. Those days where I just sat around and stared and stare at the wall. I could have used them better. How? I don't know. But I should have. There's no possibility to spin this report. Sorry, Command. I dallied in the Ralton's got there first. They may have a weapon that the research team thought could in the universe. My bad. <laughs> I'd be lucky if they settled for just demoting me to flight officer. I could see prison time for negligence depending on the presiding, presiding official. There has to be something I can do. 
I have to be able to establish the situation somehow. Are there any sorts of distress beacons? Trial of the standard emergency frequencies, military and civilian. Radios are dead. Try again. Sure, Nat. <laughs> That's not gonna be there's not gonna be any. Was it self destruct? That does seem to be the most likely cause of the devastation before us. Tis a great shame. This is why I had to break into our lab to hear the recording. Did you not hear that man? All our human death. <laughs> Are all humans death? He said he was going to do this. I swear. Were you asleep at that? <laughs> were you asleep at that? Wait, were you asleep at that during the battle aboard the Xeon? As plasma burns along the ship, somebody fired upon the ship. <laughs> so, so it gives me a faint smile. I'm trying to make me feel better. There's nothing to see the pain in my heart. If I had trusted my friends more, maybe we could have found a way to get here first. You seek to blame others when you cannot accept the truth, my dear Kylie. What are your thoughts on the matter? As a pretty smart engineer, does this not say self-destruct? The researcher could have overloaded his engines. It might have caused markings like that. Bullshit! It was the damn Ralton? You seek to blame boogeymen. Do you have proof? Then we must conclude that the facts are correct. This was a self-destruct by a potentially delusional researcher, torn at the loss of his people. Could you not understand his painful decision? I need to be strong. Now is the time to play my hand before the truth is lost forever. At the desert camp, Sarah was also attacked when she rescued Lieutenant Star and Captain Moonfallow. I got that sample of the toxin and checked it against my database. It was a no Ralton nerve agent. That would be more convincing, convenient counter, convenient counter to me. Do you happen to have the proof? Of course I do. Computer, tell us the results of the chemical scan performed in the past week by me. Processing. No entries found. Run all scans of any type by me. Processing. No entries found. But I was there. Because you aren't totally biased or should crush. This can't be happening. I know it was done. I know it. Am I losing my mind? What'd you do to it, you bastard? Mind your rank, Lieutenant. <laughs> Isn't that what you've always screaming at, poor Kelly? I mean, <clears throat> mind your rank. Isn't that what you're always are screaming at, poor Kelly? The colonel's correct, Major. Just because you do not like the facts presented to you doesn't give you the reason give you reason to be unprofessional <laughs> but he tampered with Natalie's data but how could he have soul in case you're forgetting your desire to be Natalie's white knight nobody and I mean nobody has access privilege to the central computer I'm sorry Natalie thanks for trying soul it would seem like this case is close unless you have any objections Major Basile should make for Catherine space and report what has transpired here can it end so easily? There has to be something we can do. I can't just give up now. The universe is in danger. Everyone is counting on me. I can't let the sacrifices made to uh, made to get me here be wasted. My mind dressed to Faye, alone in her room, clutching her gut from the burning pangs of agony. I think of Kika, hiding the pain of her lost family. Do the needs of the few outweigh the needs of many? Is it my place to make the call? Either way, I must. We haven't even done a survey of the wreckage. Of course, I'm going to object to this. Can't you just accept reality without fighting so much? That's not my job. So what? Your job is wasting our time and limited resources? We're running low on food, Commander. We should go home. They are quite right. Wreckage surveys can take days to do on a proper search. It would be folly to waste our resources. You just don't want her to find the truth of what happened. Temper, temper. Soul's right. We have scanners and stuff, searching for waves and particles and things. Do you even hear yourself talk? If I may, the lieutenant has a point. Doing scans will take more than a few hours. No one in this will run at the recovery drone. Do you want to give up on the truth so easily, Kika? This is the first time I've seen you whip, <laughs> whip out on proving yourself correct, house cat. Major! It's a term of <laughs> down. <laughs> Is that racist to everybody? 
<laughs> he's like, well, he said, I can't help it. I'm an open racist. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> right in front of his captain. Oh, man. It's a, <laughs> it's a term of affection. <laughs> Fine. We'll do your stupid scans. I'll prove you wrong and then we can go home. Deal? This is accept acceptable to me, Major Basile. All right. Let's do it. There's the slightest chance of being able to get a positive end of this. I need to give it my all. Just have to put my faith in my crew, even if some some of them are turning against me. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Every second of wasting, every second of waiting, makes the anxiety increase by a thousandfold. My two best friends and their idle chat aren't making it any better. What are we gonna do when we get back to? Duster Station. I'm going to take you to the nicest restaurant they have, my adorable little engineer. And then afterwards, I'm going to take you back, back to my crib, where I will fuck you sideways. <laughs> and wreck you. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I need to get away from them. I need to do something. I can't just sit idly by. Talk to Solon Alphonse. Talk to Kika. Talk to Arizona. Talk to Zuri. Let's go talk to Sol and Alphonse. Any luck? Sol is driving the drone around. So he's off in a land of his own. That looks like a part of the upper right engine booster. Moving on. Al, do you think we're going to find something? I know you're scared. This is the first time you called me out. <laughs> is it? Whatever, I'm not scared. It's alright to be scared. It's natural. What matters is that you're still fighting to go forward despite that fear. That is how you gain the blessing of the spirits. I hope they're with me today. Fear not. Soul refuses to let Soul refuses to let you down. He's very reliable, isn't he? I've had to owe my owe my life several times. This is why I try to help him. Though he bears hatred for my actions. That Food stuffs likely radiated. Moving on. <laughs> what did you do? Let us a curse on us best silently, especially now when Soul needs his focus. What did you burn all of his mementos on Luna? Uh, Lena? Lena? What the hell? What is your name? What did you burn all of his mementos on Lena? Lena? You did it. We should be quiet. He needs to concentrate. <laughs> I should go. This conversation just got awkward. Natalie, Commander Rosina, I think I saw, think so I found something. What is it? Some sort of crystal, too perfect to be natural. On the screen is a small turquoise crystal in the shape of a diamond. Barely larger than my thumb. Soul's right, it is perfect, smooth, the coloring unblemished. At both ends are ornamental caps, like the casings for a necklace. Oh look, you found their jewelry, congratulations. Are we scavengers now? I'm getting a strange treaty from it. From jewelry? What sort of signal? Nuclear! <laughs> it's very faint. It's clearly trying to transmit something. Perhaps the drone sensors are malfunctioning. Oh no! I checked the sensors as part of my weekly check! They check good! They check good every week! <laughs> Could your scanner machine be broken? Maybe! Do we have all the more reason to bring it in? If you can't verify anything, we need to do an onboard check. I don't think this is our place to raid graves with trinkets. I don't think it's our place to raid graves with trinkets. I need to verify that this is just a trinket. So, record that signal and bring it to Crystal in. Commander! This is a horrible idea! I don't see any particular reason not to let the Major have her away. Is there any sort of radiation emanating from it? Nothing out of acceptable limits. <laughs> Bring it in. <laughs> Down to the engineering bay. I'm coming with you. Me too. Major Hackett, we have the controls. I suspect all of us want a closer look at this odd gym. There it is. Let me take it. You'll end up smashing this one as well. <laughs> if it survived the destruction of the ship without so much of a scratch, I doubt anyone here is going to <laughs> is going to do anything to it. It was probably in the case. Better safe than sorry before she somehow finds a way. <laughs> We should be we shouldn't be touching it with our hands. K 
Katie. Go get the. Get it. <laughs> Old Doc Stan nearly jumps out of his skin as Kiko plucks it across the out of the drone, but it sits over the melting casing. <laughs> metal casing. Lieutenant! What? It's just jewelry. Do you know something that we don't? Information that should be privy to here? It's, it's, it's just jewelry, right? Could you be the one who stole my research data? From the frightened, angry look on his face, I'm confident he knows more than he's letting on. Another basis of safety. You don't take weird things from found from destroyed spaceships bearing super weapons and play around with them. The only thing weird about this is why some old crusty researcher has such a pretty necklace piece. It takes all kind it takes all kinds to make it galaxy, I suppose. Hey, major catch. Complete disregard for protocol, Kika tosses me the gem. This weight could have been more than could be more than a few grams. It's pleasant to look at. The way it sparkles in the light of the engineering bay. I can see why it might be nothing more than a gem with some piece of guardian necklace. Still, it is strange. There should be some sign of damage to it. My gut tells me that it isn't an ordinary gem. But if I'm right about the ship being pursued and destroyed by Raltons, why would they leave this behind? They've been cleaning their trails very well. Leaving this leaving the weapon behind would be silly. It's so pretty. Could I have it? It would look perfect with my dress uniform. I don't have time for time investigating it for being blessed up by a destroyed spaceship. It's remarkably smooth. Do not touch it. You may destroy the evidence you seek. True. I run my finger along the side of the blue crystal, expecting it to be as cold as ice instead. Feels the like tickle in the warmth of the sun radiating through. You fool! Colonel! A small light shines from inside the crystal. It seems to be showing a slight chemical reaction to my. What happened to the lights?